Number 10. Wagner's Viper. It is a venomous viper found in northwest Iran and eastern Turkey. This snake lives at altitudes of over 1,500 meters and prefers rocky or grassy areas. In 2008, the status of the Wagner's Viper was changed to critically endangered, as it was feared that the planned construction of a dam within its limited habitat range would devastate the viper's population. Numbers have also been declining due to many people capturing these snakes as pets. It is estimated that there are fewer than 2,500 adults left in the wild. Number 9. Alcatraz's Lancehead. This snake is a critically endangered viper that lives on a small island off the southeastern coast of Brazil. This snake faces a unique threat to its continued survival. The island is frequently used as a naval target area endangering the lives and habitat of these rare snakes. The Alcatraz's lance head belongs to the pit viper family, meaning that it has a heat-sensing organ in its head which it uses to locate its prey. And like all other pit vipers, it's deadly poisonous. The exact numbers of surviving Alcatraz's lance heads is unknown, although it has been noted that they are fairly common on the small island that they live on. Number 8. Santa Catalina Island Rattlesnake The Santa Catalina Island Rattlesnake is a small slender pit viper found only on the island of Santa Catalina in the Gulf of California. This rattlesnake is unique because of its lack of a functioning rattle. It is believed that this rattlesnake lost its rattle in an attempt to better adapt to its environment, allowing it to silently sneak up on birds in desert brush. Their population is facing severe challenges due to the presence of feral cats which prey on the snakes. Additionally, these relatively passive snakes have been the targets of killing and illegal collection, further placing it in danger. Number 7. Antiguan Racer The Antiguan Racer is located on a few small islands just off the Caribbean island nation of Antigua and Barbuda. The Antiguan Racer was previously living on the main island of Antigua, but was wiped out after the introduction of the mongoose and black rat. This species was believed to be extinct until it was rediscovered in the early 1990s. After the successful eradication of predatory rats from the island, the population has since increased to over 900 individuals, with snakes being reintroduced to nearby islands. The Antiguan racer is a brown, non-venomous snake and is docile and easy to handle. As viper which can only be found in northwestern Armenia and northeastern Turkey. The viper is named after Ilya Darevsky, who is one of the first to find and identify the species. Due to the destruction of its natural habitat from overgrazing by domestic animals, the numbers of Darevsky's vipers are on the decline. At last count there were only about 500 individuals left in the wild, placing this snake on the brink of extinction. Darevsky's viper lives primarily at high altitudes on mountain ridges and spends part of its day basking in the sun in order to acquire enough heat to operate during the day. These snakes display sexual dimorphism, meaning that the females are significantly larger than males. Number 5. Short-Nosed Sea Snake The Sahel Reef Snake, otherwise known as the Short-Nosed Sea Snake is a critically endangered sea snake whose habitat is mostly contained in a small area off the coast of northwestern Australia. The Sahel Reef snake prefers sandy areas with sparse coral and can live up to 10 years in the wild. It has so far only been found within the area of two reefs Ashmore and Hibernia. While this snake was once relatively abundant up until the 1990s, its numbers have dwindled so much that no individuals have been recorded in surveys since 2000. Number 4. Round Island Boa Casaria dusimiri, otherwise known as the Round Island Keelscaled Boa, is found only on Round Island, Mauritius. Adults can reach up to 1.5 meters in length. They're dark brown on their upper side, and their bellies are lighter with a smattering of dark spots. The snake gets its name from small, keeled scales that cover its body. The species has recently been reintroduced to another island. Gunner's Coin, and although there were less than 250 mature Round Island boas in 1996, their numbers have now increased to around 1,000. This is due in large part to the eradication of invasive species such as goats and rabbits, 
which has led to the return of much of their native habitat. Number 3. Aruba Island Rattlesnake This snake is critically endangered rattlesnake that is endemic to the Caribbean island of Aruba, located just off the coast of Venezuela. The snakes usually have a uniform gray or light brown body color. The rattlesnake is viviparous, which means that it gives birth to live young rather than laying eggs. It has an estimated life span of up to 20 years, and its diet is made up of mainly rodents, birds, and lizards. It is estimated that there are only 230 surviving adults in the wild, with about 100 more adults in captivity. Number 2. Orlogs Viper this snake is native to the Black Sea region of Russia, where it is endemic to the Caucasus region. It was only in 2001 that Orlov's viper was separated as a distinct species from the closely related Caucasian viper. This snake has a triangular head and long, venomous fangs which are folded against the roof of the mouth when not in use. Orlov's vipers have been shown to eat a wide range of foods such as mice, lizards, frogs, and insects. It's estimated that there are less than 250 adults in the wild. The Orlov's viper suffers from widespread poaching due to its popularity as a pet. Number 1. St. Lucia Racer Snake Recently proclaimed the rarest snake in the world, the St. Lucia Racer is located on a tiny island just off the coast of St. Lucia, a tropical Caribbean island. While these snakes once existed on St. Lucia, they were eradicated when invasive predators such as the mongoose and black rat were introduced to the island, killing these small snakes and poaching their eggs. They were actually declared to be extinct in 1936 but were rediscovered on Maria Major in 1973, where the snakes managed to survive due to the lack of mongooses. Thank you for watching. If you liked our videos subscribe now for more interesting videos daily.